Welcome back guys and today we have exciting news from the ASUS. So ASUS just announced 20 GPU mining motherboard. So the most uh, GPUs that you could put on motherboard before were 13 and now with this new motherboard you can use up to 20 GPUs. So on this link down in the description you can check this all info out and see it for yourself. So why is this motherboard so special? It actually has few excellent features that we haven't seen on my motherboards before and let's take a look at them one by one. So here you can see that it has 20 USB 3.0 ports which uses to connect your GPUs or the risers to the motherboard. And before you had PCI Express X1 slots but those USB slots are a lot better for your cable management because you don't have so many cables and you can exactly see which cable comes from which USB port and they are more durable because I have seen those PCI Express X1 connectors come out really really easily and those USB slots click a lot harder than the PCI PCI Express slots. So you also have this one PCI Express X16 slot and this is just for your video output if you want to connect monitor to your rig and if you use this then your first uh, USB port will not work. So you also have two uh, RAM sticks over here and you have 8 gen Intel CPU support. So the next interesting thing is you can see that you have three 24 pin uh, power connectors and these are for your three power supplies that you can connect to your motherboard. So you don't have to use any special tools to connect two or more power supplies. You can just connect one by one power supply over here and then maybe connect uh, seven GPUs on this one, seven GPUs uh, on the power supply number B and six GPUs on the third power supply. So it is a lot easier to connect so many more GPUs and it comes loaded with a lot of BIOS options which will allow you to just connect those GPUs without any problems and you won't have to do any extra special configuration. You also have this little screen over here that will tell you exactly where the problem is with this BIOS code and you have reset and start buttons which are really nice to see so you don't have to power on your motherboard with a special power button or with your screwdriver. You can just press the start button and it will work perfectly. So this is a great motherboard even if you want to just connect 5, 6 or maybe like 10 GPUs to your motherboard and if you want to add more of them and add more power supplies you can do that later on without any problems. So let's take a look at some more features that it has. This is a increased image of those slots. You can see they are really nicely labeled and you can see exactly which one is which. So this feature is from BIOS which you can see that uh, green slots over here are your working GPUs and it labels your non-working non GPUs which have some sort of error in red and gray, gray ones are the ones that are not connected. So you can see that he has PCI Express X16 over here connected so this number one slot is not working because it cannot work because that would mean that it has 21 GPUs. So it is really awesome to see that and I would like to see this feature on some mining motherboards that maybe are for 6 GPUs or something like that because sometimes one for GPUs is not working and you cannot figure out which one is that so the whole system doesn't boot. Then you have to go through the process of connecting one by one GPU and if it's the last GPU that you connect then you waste a lot of time. And with this you can see exactly which one doesn't work and which one works so this is really, it looks like the best motherboard for mining in the future. So over here you can read that those USB 3.0 slots are actually PCI Express 1 slots beneath. So they work exactly like PCI Express X1 slots but they just have this USB 3.0 interface which is a lot simpler to use. But the thing is that those USB 3.0 slots only give you about 10 watts per one slot. So you cannot draw a lot more power per slot from the motherboard which you can do from PCI Express X1. But you should actually never depend on drawing power from your motherboard because that is not safe, you, your rig can catch on fire and you should actually do it from a 6 pin power connector from your power supply and just connect every single GPU and every single riser from a 6 pin or 8 pin power connector. Now some power supplies don't have many of them and this is the problem that you can really easily fix just by looking at how many those 6 pin or 8 pin power connectors does your power supply has. So if you can connect three power supplies over here and each power supply has maybe like 10 of those 6 pin power connectors then you can easily connect every single GPU and every single riser directly 
to your power supply, which is the way you should do it. But if you want to connect something like 20 GTX 180 Ti, then it is going to be really hard to find three power supplies on which you can connect like six or seven GPUs and also connect risers. So that won't work, but this motherboard can work for maybe like 20 GTX 160s, or it would be even better if you would just connect something like 20 GTX 150 Ti, which wouldn't draw so much power. But personally, I wouldn't use something like 20 GTX 180 Ti because it could be too much stress for this motherboard or for any motherboard that can ever be produced since you would be drawing so much power from the motherboard, from the power supplies and if one of those power supplies goes bad or one of the GPUs goes bad, it could burn your entire rig and this is way too much risk. So I would personally rather build uh, three rigs each with 6 or 7 GPUs than one rig with 20 GPUs. But if you have maybe high electricity cost and you want to save every single penny, if you have maybe like 1000 GPUs far, then you could go for those motherboards. But if you just mine for your personal maybe like 100 to 200 dollars per month, then you could use normal 6 GPU rig. So if you scroll down over here, you can see some more info about it. It is a normal ATX size, 12 by 9 inches. It is the LJ1151 socket for the 8th gen uh, Intel CPUs. You can put maximum 32 gigabytes of RAM. You have one PCI Express X6 slot, which disables then one of your USB 3.0 slots. It has space for two SATA slots and it has one gigabit LAN connection. So overall, this motherboard is really great. It will allow you to maximize your profits but I think it is way too much risk to just put 20 GPUs on one motherboard because it is not tested yet and we don't know how well it will perform and how well BIOS and all drivers together can work with 20 GPUs. And maybe some mining softwares don't even have support for something like 20 GPUs because the maximum they have ever seen is 13 and they probably optimized for 13 GPUs. So 20 GPUs might be way too soon right now and we maybe should just wait for 6 months or 1 year to see how everything develops and how BIOS versions for this motherboard develops and what kind of new features it can bring to the market. So thank you guys for watching this video, let me know how many GPUs do you have connected to your motherboard, do you have like only 2, 3 GPUs or maybe up to 13 GPUs connected, and see you soon in another video. Bye!